Hi guys. For today's video, I'm gonna tell you the things you need to know about Kulos. Please take note that Mikulos is only Blue Star. I won't be able to show you his fullest strength. With that, let's begin. Kulos uses magical attack for his skills. If you manage to fully awaken him, his damage will double if enemy has wet effect, just like charm. Kulos has high HP and defenses. He can also deal high damage if used correctly. Kulos also has the ability to heal. If you manage to awake him to Diamond Star. Since Kulos doesn't have burst skills, he have to rely on the Blizzard stack to deal huge damage. But nonetheless, he has strong damage if equipped with the right skills, which I will teach you today. If you're looking for a high damage pet with good sustainability, then Kulos is for you. Kulos can be obtained by Kulos can only be obtained via Elida Ticket Draws. And there is only small amount of chance that you'll get him. That's why there are very few people with Rainbow or Diamond Kulos. These are Kulos passive and skills. Kulos normal ability, Blessing of Thalassa. Gives him 15% skill power, this allows him to deal good damage. It also gives him 50% chance. To avoid wit making him a little stronger when fighting water type pets. And as you can see, he has the normal ability of an epic type pet even though his legendary. This makes him significantly weaker to most legendary pets. Kulos has 30% extra physical and magical defenses. This allows him to be more adorable during battle. He has 30% extra magic power. When paired with the 15% skill power given to him, he is able to deal huge damage. He has 60% chance to avoid burn. This gives him an advantage when fighting fire type pets. He has 30% extra HP, giving him more durability during battle. When enemies attack him, they have 50% chance to get applied with wet effect. This correlates well with his other passive, which doubles his damage with enemy Huo has wet effect. Every round, he has the ability to heal 15% of his HP, giving him more chance of survival since he can heal. And lastly, his damage doubles when enemy has wet effect. This correlates well with his other passive because it can apply wet effect to the enemy. These are my recommended skills for Kulos. Firstly, use Blizzard to times to deal damage to the enemy as well as increase air damage. After that, burst them down with Estuary's Call. It deals burst damage to the enemy, and with the help of the damage increase off Blizzard, we have a chance to kill them. Equip Blaster Pump and Water Vortex for extra damage source. Much like Charm Serpent, Hulos doesn't hold a lot of power when not maxed awakened. To summarize his skills, PROs, high damage, high durability. Pins, has an epic pet passive, misses from time to time. Hard to obtain. So that's basically it. Comment down thoughts and suggestions and I will gladly respond. Thank you for watching.